You a stranger talking and I don't feel it. If I don't know your mama, I'ma make them feel it. Yeah. Heavy yeah. Armor, you know I want to shine. Ratchet music. It's Rich Around Radio. Yeah. That's too oh. shit. He it's the hottest five. shit on the radio right now. This show right here. Yeah, put on that Rick Ross. Featuring. <laughs> <laughs> featuring your boy, Speed Doggy Dog. Dog. Ladies. Uh, Rick Ross, a nice email yesterday. Let him know. Congratulations <laughs> on his nice sound. Said he's a boss. L- ladies. <laughs> Spells it B-O-S-S. Let's do it like this, ladies. (laughs) Hilarious, Peter. See, sometimes you just need a little something to get you through the evening. Turn that up, too. I'll come over the house and... uh, Broach back music. (laughs) Right here, (laughs) sir. Back Out Entertainment presents... Whatever. I had my little fanny pack back then. You're like, uh, fanny pack? Oh, wow. my God. Wow. You're not admitting you had a fanny pack. <laughs> not a fanny pack. The other thing. Oh, you said oh, fanny you pack. Said I fanny said, pack. Well, whatever. Fanny pack. The little thing you put all your shit in. Fanny pack. Uh, fanny pack. <laughs> I believe it's called a pussy pouch. Or a purse. <laughs> That's technically what it's called. Hey, look at that kangaroo over there. <laughs> or the anyway. Negro marsupial. He's a marsupial. <laughs> uh, board up. Why is this mic on yet? <laughs> it's not been introduced yet. It's your boy Speedy in the house. I'm the poetess. TDP, Mr. One Two Three Knox on Twitter, baby. And of course, it's RT the White Boy over here. What's cracking? What's that? Nikki Pam in the house. Why is she talking? Uh, All right. Also in the house. Who is that? Good friend of the show. Yeah. I originally started at my shit. I was able to spawn him to his. He was ready to do what? <laughs> Don't you just love it when people take, I'll take care of you? Take sentences for five hundred. <laughs> if it wasn't for me, he would not be the man he is right now. I, I, I've had that happen so many host, times. Part though. father. I, 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 I unleashed this knowledge upon uh, the world. I unleashed this knowledge upon Un- the world. Unleashed. I unleashed. Okay. Unleashed. Okay, okay. 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 okay Speedy, do you think? Zoe Williams in the house. Oh, thank you. Zoe! Zoe also uh, can be heard on the Foxhole. Impossible. On Sirius yeah, what's up XM, with that? Channel 98, that? right? Yes. <laughs> and he could be heard right here on RMC on air.com yeah, Tuesdays. That? How you doing both? At 11 a.m. Shit. Do you think? I'm doing it. What day is so, your show? What's happening? The day, uh, the Voice of Reason is on Thursday still. Oh, okay. uh, From 6 to 8 p.m. And uh, the Zoe What Show is crazy. Really? Shh. It's crazy. Is what is it, it about? Than the Zoe Show? Tuesday. Huh? Yeah. Is it better than the Zoe Show? Uh, it's it's got his own voice. It's got his own thing. You know, we got the doctor. You know, he breaks down a whole bunch of things. He's a deep cat, old cat, sixty five years old, author, international best selling author. Right. And then you got Jeff Brown. He's nobody. Look here. He's a wild lemur. I want to shout out just <laughs> outside of the studio, peeking in. <laughs> assembly member uh, Mike Davis is out. Is that there. Mike Davis? That's Mike oh, Davis. Hey. Assembly, Davis. Davis. assembly hey. member in the house. Now we are. We're not really cussing. We actually gonna blip block this out. <laughs> can he raise some money for us? <laughs> <laughs> he, he can raise yes. some money. He's he good. Yes. He got a suit on. He's going to raise something. <laughs> as soon as you say also, want to shout around. out Neil yeah. Anderson. She has a show here on Tuesdays as well called The Urban Post. Oh, okay. You Urban can check Post. her out three to five. She talks about worldwide news um, and um, also politics. So cool. tune in Beautiful, to her. Man. She's on after Zoe. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Mm. I might hang around and check her out. For yeah, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Come on, Speedy. What Jesus. Why would you hang around? <laughs> to check out her show. Bounce. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> I know what you better do, so. <laughs> Shit. Hey, man, I miss hanging out with you, Z. Yeah, man, we had a good time. Your so. goofy ass left hand shot. You think your left hand shot is fucked up? <laughs> Zoe. You got a left hand shot. Zoe, Speedy. But Zoe's the black hole. Don't Zoe is the black hole. Let me, don't let me talk get about it out. Basketball, Speedy. Let's talk For about real. basketball. I throw it to Zoe, I go down court. Because Zoe don't give back. <laughs> There's nothing to give back to. <laughs> it is better to receive and then to receive again. Right. <laughs> if I drive to the hole and I'm open, feed me. A sandwich? Uh, <laughs> not the ball. And he passes him a sausage link. <laughs> I don't get it. Like. And then when Zoe is on, it's a wrap. When it's I'm on like, yo, on. my man, I'm, I'm, oh, well, hey, get that one. Are, are you ever on? Yes. I'm actually nice, though. Are you growing Speedy. a beard, though? Yeah, I'm kind of letting it, you know, meander a little bit. I mean, I got it from Speedy, uh, you know. Seemed to be. But like, I would never color. That was a little mine. Frank Ocean. You would never color yours. No. What are you saying? 
you should start. <laughs> <laughs> I will not. My daughter told me this weekend, she says, Daddy, I like your beard like that. Is it going to come off? I was like, no. Nah, uh, so my, my six-year-old loves it when I color it. Well, she might I look like a scary old man when I don't. It's true. <laughs> She's right. Right now, you look, you look like a crazy Frederick Douglass, Dad. <laughs> really? You, you got in on this? <laughs> I don't think he's scared of you, Speedy. He not scared of Louis Dix. I know that motherfucker. <laughs> with Louis Dix. He Lil said he'll whoop, he'll whoop, Louis, he'll whoop this Louis's one. ass. Now, traditionally, white men don't approach black men. European. This one did. <laughs> yeah, well, what happened? And he came with an end the round way. He went like, how about this? What if I slap shit out of you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Would you be mad at me? Yeah, because he was saying it was just a question. Yeah. So I said, so what well, Lewis I did, have a question. Young man came here to sing for us. Uh-huh. We don't care who you like, none of that. Right. Thank you for coming to the show. Lewis looks at the wall, even though my man was here, looked at the wall and says, is dude gay? And my man was like, <laughs> he's thinking, okay, all of these people are going to come at me like this. That's what this show was about. He turned, take his background dancers, microphone, uh, uh, yeah, background uh, dancers in here yes. and singers, or singers, <laughs> and got them all bound. So they grabbed all their shit. So P was like, "Hey, wait, 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 where are you going?" At that you, time, I didn't know what yeah, happened. I didn't know either till we sat down, and then Lewis was like, "I asked me, I said, no, you didn't. You looked at the wall and you blurted it out." Wow. Now, had he went up to him and been a man and said, "Hey, I'm Lewis Dix. I may have some jokes. Are you gay? I might do some shit. Is that cool with you?" That's different. That's not what Lewis did. And I just thought it was wrong for him to go at our guest on our show and just blurt that shit out. If you got a Drive problem with out. somebody being gay, that's you. You but need to you, deal you, with come that. Come on now. You know what you're getting when you get Louis <laughs> Dix up but, in but here. But we didn't ask him to be on the show. He sat down. Yeah, he said he wasn't even going to stay. Yeah, he, he, was he gave everybody oh, so down. he just fell uh, through he and fell through. started wilding. Oh, yeah. I invited him because oh, okay. we had a football game that right. day and they whipped our ass. Oh, see, I didn't okay. know yeah. So I said it on the air before he tried to come in here and, you know, put the super <laughs> hurricane on it. Oh, Jesus. So, go sit down, kick it, you know, your family, whatever. But can we chalk it up to Radio Run? You know he ain't been on it. No, I love Lewis on the show. <laughs> and then you, you know some. Like put him in that mode because when he walked in the door, hey, suck a lot of, hey, suck a lot. You, you never then called him Lewis Dick, right? Then it's on. You know what I mean? But but see, he was trying to equate the fact that we got at him like that. Like, oh, well, y'all do what everybody like that. that? Let me finish. Part that two. that we get at everybody like that. I said, you're a comic. You can you can handle that. My right. man is not a comic, and he didn't know we were. The, the job for that is when his character gets at. Or says whatever he's gonna say, and we yeah. and he and you usually tell him ahead of time. Yeah. I do a character. I'm gonna mess with you. Yeah, I'm gonna mess with you, so they'll know. But, but still, my man should have been like, yes or no, I am. And what is your name? I'm such and such. He why? Why? It that way. Why should he have did that? Because you guess. spoke for him, and you said. I'm just asking that, a question. Why do you think he should? Because you spoke for him and said he felt that everybody was gonna go at him like that. So you spoke for that dude who's not here. So I'm speaking for him. He could have said. Yes, I am, or yes, I'm not. He's playing. Why does he have to answer that? <laughs> because. Asking, why does he have to answer? Why not? You're in the room with a whole bunch of people. But why do I need to tell you if I'm gay or not? I'm saying he could have answered either way. Have you told your parents yet, Speedy? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's weird. I said that when. No, I have I sure don't that. That up. And some, I, I saw some of the comments that our fans and our listeners and viewers were making about as hard as we go on people, why did we go in on Lewis for calling the guy gay or whatever? It wasn't like that. Oh, yes, yeah. we do go in. Yes, we do make gay jokes on Speedy all the time. So it wasn't the fact that it was gay. It was just that the whole approach of the situation that we thought was a little yeah, I mean, he drove the talent away i think the record is apropos lewis dix he's always been a jerk that's i mean come on he threw us under you're the a bus. jerk you're yeah, a jerk. and he for money and for a job, Lewis would throw anybody. He'll throw. No, I'm talking kids. about on Damn. air. Damn. No, that's Damn. Right. No, that's right. no, no, no. I told Lewis in front of his face when uh, when uh, shows used to come here when Lewis was hot. Lewis people would call him ahead of time and they'd be like, well, we want a comic. We don't know who we want to use. And they would say, Lewis and his people would say, don't use any other comics because they cuss and they not they not funny. I'm the only person. Mm -hmm. And the reason how that gets out, when they didn't use Lewis and they would use other comics, they told us, yo, there's another guy I got in touch with. He said, you got, none of you guys were funny. He said, all you guys were going to do was cuss. That was Lewis Dix. That's always been Lewis Dix. So I don't know. that's why when he fell off, nobody tried to help Lewis. <laughs> he was an asshole. <laughs> it's terrible. 
We were waiting on this day, Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see you down here with me now. You ain't shit now, Wilkie. Chickens then came home to roost. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Barbecue Shack, everybody. Our headliner, Lewis Diggs. <laughs> oh, damn. Ladies and gentlemen, lend me your ears. You just going to get Romnesia like that. <laughs> I love it. Teeter Sports Ticker right here on Reach Around Radio. Yes, it is. Let's get down to business. Major League Baseball. We have the San Francisco Giants taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. The game right still now, going? Game seven, yeah. Game seven. Wow. Uh, Cardinals had a chance to close it out at home. Giants came back to get a game seven at their home, so they'll be waiting. If they can. They were winning, uh, I think it was 7 uh, nothing when we came in here. Right, right. Mm. So maybe we'll get Detroit. Tigers and those San Francisco Giants because they definitely put a spanking on those. Yankees oh yeah, this thing is over and swept them up. It's freaking nine nothing. It's nine nothing right now. San Francisco, yeah. Oh, so we'll get Detroit and uh, San, Francisco. San Francisco. That'll be great for uh, Major League Baseball. And let's go right into the cycling world. Lance Armstrong cycling. Mm-hmm. Cycling. Lance Armstrong, who was stripped of all Took endorsements. Everything. Took his yellow bands, everything. everything. He was riding for the U.S. Postal Team and uh, was sponsored by Nike for like 10 years. So mm-hmm. Nike felt that he duped them with the whole drug situation. And his own cancer foundation dropped him. You're a mm. cancer to cancer. I mean, <laughs> that's not fun. <laughs> How does that wow. happen? Wow. They took everything. The yeah, band, yeah. bikes. Testicle. So now he's on the tour <laughs> to try to figure out. And this dude was getting, this dude was getting six figures for speaker. Damn. Oh, that's so terrible, man. To, they just tried what, to just so was it really them. that important for him to win all those races? Apparently it was. Apparently. The thing no, was, his body was at a point where he was basically dead. So mm. they had all these new drugs that were coming on the market. So they was like, hey, let's let this dude try him out mm. and see how it works. And this so he really did do it? Oh, I'll yeah. say yes. And and some of the guys on the uh, U.S. Postal team that was on there you know, said that they got packages that came to their house with all kind of stuff. So why didn't they say this at the beginning? Because he's a European. So the European would always get that chance. Whoa. Yes. Yeah. Even you, Art. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Even you. I knew I liked being white. <laughs> <laughs> you do have perks there, sir. Yes. <laughs> On to NBA news. Fuck them Lakers. Wrong. The Los Angeles Lakers look great. No, they, they did. Why would you lie like that? At 0-6. The lie. best 0-6 team ever. Speedy. Don't worry. You lost. Just working out the kings. It's the preseason. Yeah, I hear Doesn't it. Even it's Dwight Howard. I'm about to kick preseason. RT off you his own that. island. That's a nice show, Speedy. <laughs> I have no problem with LeBron Three of the James. gayest human beings on planet yeah, Earth. Yeah, but he beat y'all. No, I don't no, know. I think yeah, that one right did. there is. But this one right here? Cool. Did you see the, the, uh, the, yeah, the champagne celebration? Yeah, champagne the bosh like with the mouth open. Yeah. That was kind of... And so you got cold. him on your shirt. I sure do. So the Lakers you wearing that good. to the parade this year? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> they gave me my own personal shirt. I like bubbles in my face. And we do have our own Laker network, so you have Time Warner. Make sure that you get Time Warner because there will be no more local games on KCAL. Man. Channel 9 after 30 years of service. Wow. So everything will be on. So I mean, um, Lan- oh, not Lance, the, uh, all the announcers. Well, I guess they move over to the other station. Yeah. So. yeah. Correct. Stu Lance and all of them. They still, still there. Yeah. Because we're getting ready for this, uh, like I said earlier in the program, the 14-15 season where we have action at getting LeBron James will be a free agent. It's not going to happen. At that time. And Kobe will be retiring and we will have $30 million up under the salary cap. Do you they think he happen. really will retire? Yeah, Said Kobe. If yeah. they win two t- back-to-back titles, if they do what? No. If they win two titles, if they do what? His whole Hold thing on. is that you know he's want to he want to have happen. six rings, or if he can get Ignite. one more than Jordan, like Robert Ory has seven happen. rings. I think he's going to keep trying until he gets that six ring. Yeah, mm-hmm. he, he, no, because that, the, the caveat for him retiring is if I cannot continue to play at this elite level, he said I'm not going to be a twenty point a game guy. So well, if I got get two to years that level, left, right? I'm done. Right. There's two years left, right? On his contract. But yeah. either you know, either he's one of those guys that knows when to quit and quits, mm-hmm. or he's one of those guys that wants to keep doing it. And so let me ask you this: That's what I'm saying. I mean, Jordan kind of came back a little, you know. Uh... In two years, it will be how many years in league? Is it 19? Uh, he's 16 in right now. So it'll be 18. Correct. A long he came in. He came too. in in high school. I got you. Yeah. But he got a lot of mileage on him. Yeah, a lot yes. of mileage. So he got a lot of NBA. 18 mileage. years. You think he would still re up for two, three more years? If he wanted to, he yeah. has that option. And especially I can't, if his body feels I good. I can't see Kobe, yeah. the dude that's averaging 13 and 12 points a game. I can't see He no. said he wouldn't do it. it. Right, exactly. He, he wouldn't yeah, I can't do it. it. He, wants to, you know, he wants to go out on top. Not going to happen. As any player wants. He's going on the bottom. 
A in mixed martial it? arts. Watch Eddie your tone. Alvarez said he wants to build his brand after a first round knockout over um, that weak dude. <laughs> the weak dude. The weak dude. Who's the weak dude? <laughs> uh, can't your, remember the dude. It's your man. story. Yeah, it is mine. <laughs> but it was a sweet knockout in the first round. Kicked him all Boxing over the Boxing or his head. MMA? <laughs> MMA. His head. Mixed martial arts, baby. That's what MMA stands for. I thought it was a candy And uh, in NASCAR news uh, Top five drivers are Brad Keselowski Number two, Jimmy Johnson Number three, Danny Hamlin Number four, hysterical Clint Boyer And number five, Casey Kane My boy, Dale Earnhardt Jr. You know, he had to sit out for a minute Did Dale have an accident? He was upset? Yeah, Yeah, he was hot about that Talladega, that's his track He was hot as fish (laughs) grease Because the dude took out a game It was like two cars left Man, the dude had his blinker on Speedy He had no blinker on the NASCAR Boy, we going 200 miles an hour That damn blinker off Motherfucker took out about 37 cars It was two and the... I guess they won. Yeah. <laughs> That's how that shit went. And it won by a fender. And Dale Earnhardt, he was hot. That motherfucker was, woo. Yeah, yeah it's, it's funny when they get mad fucking, at each other. Yeah, yeah white dude's like, hell, that fucking guy can't fucking drive. Yeah, drive back around here, punk. I'll throw my helmet at you. Yeah, it's going down. <laughs> yeah, white dude's alert. So right here on Teeter Sports Ticker, I have the top 10 list. Mm-hmm. My top 10 list. My top 10 top, list. Top. This Who's, is this female. Who's this from? Who's this from? This is from Malika Fatima Hassan. Hey, Malika Whatever. The Malika Fatima, Fatima Hassad. And this is her top 10 list. Why women love football on Sunday. Let's do it. Why <laughs> women love football Come on, Pam. on Let's get in there. Sundays. Number 10. 10. Quarter hot wings at the bar. <laughs> quarter wings, boy. Come up with like $3. What you eat good? Number 9. Only time I can see a manly man be a receiver. <laughs> I don't like that. But I'm But I'm A man catching balls. That's what she's trying to say. Oh. Hey, Joe Kyle. You got to explain the joke. She said a manly man being a receiver. So, catching balls. Kind of self explanatory, sweetie. Right? Thank you, Zoe. Some intelligence to my side. Number eight. Just think about it, you know. A boyfriend not. is so preoccupied, I can bring all my shopping bags out of the car. <laughs> That's funny. That's, nice. a, good one. That's, That's a real good, good one. I like that, I like that one. Number seven, drink beer and curse around my kids and not feel bad. <laughs> I Very like good. She's I picking like up one. speed. I see that. Now. Number <laughs> I like six, that. can count on my dude that he will not have sex with me. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Number five, men on men contact turns me on. <laughs> I, don't, I don't look at football Fair like that, but okay. Okay. This is from a woman's point of view. So. Yeah. Unfortunately. Number four, can stare at 22 asses without my boyfriend getting upset. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, <laughs> hey, okay. preacher ends church early for Sunday football. <laughs> <laughs> How are we getting out of here right now? Put your Bibles up. The How Saints are playing. <laughs> And number two, hysterical. The only time I can wear my Kansas City Chief jersey in my neighborhood. <laughs> Where she live? <laughs> Red. I guess she's in a blue state. Blue state. Red, <laughs> Red jersey. Okay. By the taste of soul. <laughs> and the number one reason why Malika Fatima Hassan, top ten, that women love football on Sunday. I can scream during sex, and the neighbors will think I am watching football. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the she list right there. She was good. That she was cute. Thank you. That's pretty good. That was, that she was good. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I have other lists coming up, so if you have uh, TDP, Mr. Three Knox Baby at Facebook, message me your top ten list. I have other lists to come as well. So football week seven, seven up. It went down this weekend. So, ladies, uh, yeah, domestic violence uh, rates are real up <laughs> <laughs> on Sunday. Pittsburgh. Especially that's in not, Buffalo. Hooked on those Cincinnati bingos. That's right, Kim Marshall. Take that. Oakland Raiders. Nat Turner, y'all did the, the damn thing. Janikowski's leg put y'all on top. Over Johnny Mack hit me and said, Jaguar. Five yeah. more games Fellas. straight. Five games straight. We in the Super Bowl. I was like, get the fuck okay. out of here. Claudia Jordan's <laughs> Boston Patriots. Whooped on those Jets. It was a tough game. Oh, yeah, the game, Pats. Man. Yeah, they made a lot of the mistakes. wicked ass them. Fumble will cost you. Those Tennessee boys whooped on them Buffalo boys. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Green Bay Packers and Rodgers. The boy is Yep, awesome. Rodgers back on fire again. On fire. Yeah, but they're four and three and four. Took down those uh, Rams. Four and three. Four and three. Four and three. Oh, Minnesota over our Arizona Cardinals. 
Oh, so Claudia. does five. And shout out to Larry Fitzgerald because every year he gives uh, sixteen scholarships. Oh, he do? Wow. to kids That's at, uh, during the Super Bowl. So he makes that announcement. So shout out to Larry Fitzgerald. For How do the kids get it? Can we find out? So we can uh, you can go. <laughs> uh, it's a dot org that he has. All sixteen of mine. Either. No, seriously, you can uh, you can um, you submit uh, submit a uh, paragraph. So you know. Go on this page and oh, find out. Oh, they ain't going to make it if they got to submit a paragraph. <laughs> yeah, they, they can't read or write. Take it right after daddy. Those New York football giants <laughs> pull it out. I'm good Cruise. at spelling numbers. <laughs> in the end zone. Hysterical. <laughs> Over Johnny Gill's Washington Redskins. RG3, he did his thing. He did his thing. Uh, New Orleans. I saw that game. It's a great game. RG3 is easy to spell. Mona's New Orleans Saints. <laughs> whooped on those Tampa Bay Buccaneers. New Orleans is really fighting this year. Drew Brees, he's worth all that. I think they're in a hole, though, because they lost the, was the first four. Yeah, the first four. Yeah, 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 a little so bit of trouble. The hey, but they got their defense and back. They got Vilma back, so he's yeah. off yep. the suspension and everything. So then they'll get up to speed. Is he though. off or he's just playing until they really, really decide? Well, Roger Goodell, who's the commissioner of the NFL, made some provisions to get him back on the field because they – Hastily went and made a decision. It's just leadership alone. I mean, he missed how many games. Well, like, but now, now they're getting the old commissioner to go yeah, over Paul the case Tagliabu. again. They're getting Tagliabu to look at it. I'm like, exactly. ah, this is just fishy all because the way around. Yeah. And I hate the Saints. Hey, that's the NFL. Right? But this is, yes. Yeah, DJ cool. always took them Cowboys pulled it out over. How about the Carolina? <laughs> Thank you, sir. They pulled it out over those Cowboys. Don't pull a Panthers. horn out for them raggedy motherfuckers. How about them Cowboys? The Houston Texans whooped on those Baltimore Ravens who got T Sizzle back. T Suggs from the University yep. of Arizona. Yeah, but they got all Yeah, at what cost? Ray Lewis is Ray gone. Lewis. Hey, and uh Zoe Williams, 49ers, sneaked out and win over those Seattle Seahawks. I'll take it. I'll take it. You'll take that win? Niners Absolutely. Are good. You guys were like awesome until y'all ran up against that um Baltimore. Yeah. Yeah. I think Baltimore snatched the covers off y'all. No, New York. The Giants. The Giants. Well, the Giants, Giants. too. Yeah, well, the Giants. Yeah. Giants. Listen, we need a quarterback. That's the bottom line. And tonight, huh? Monday night, as we speak, uh, we have <laughs> all those the Bears and Lions that are going back at the score. Right here. Uh the Bordas? Bears were killing them thirteen nothing. Right. Oh, okay. I said Bordas, you got the score? She's like, and I kid. said no, I'm not score I'm what? Get scores from. And that's Teeter Sports <laughs> Ticker right here on it's Reach awesome. Around Radio. Teeter. Thank you, Teeter. We stuff. have a phone call. This is dope. Caller, what's your <laughs> name so and where are you prepared. calling from? What's that? Hey, caller, what's your name and where you calling from? They've been on hold so long. I oh, know them for that. Oh, oh, good. It's Jay Nasty from St. Louis. Hey, hey Jay, Jay Nasty. Nasty. What's up? What's good, show? What's good? And basically, I want to reiterate. Please do. Uh, Speedy, if you could spell that, I would appreciate that. <laughs> but, uh, Wrong. Anyway, <laughs> I just want to say, basically, it's not that on last week's show, it's not that basically what Lou Dix ultimately said is how he said it yes my nigga right. should have realized what his tone was and he should have realized what his delivery was wrong <laughs> wrong <laughs> always wrong also also when, when i mean just to go back and say that okay everybody always tease speedy on being gay they tease speedy on being <laughs> fat <laughs> the, hold know, up nigga, let him speak let him speak that ain't in concrete let him speak <laughs> Concrete. Concrete. It, it is. <laughs> what is Creek? That's funny. <laughs> All right, TDP. But it is what it is. I mean, nobody ever that questioned concrete. about all the, uh, the the Lou Dix experiences, even way back on the on the foxhole. Oh, my God. Yeah. Even when Lou Dix talking about sleeping in bed with his son, mm-hmm. taking baths with his son, nobody yeah. questioned all that gay shit like that on the chat and on <laughs> YouTube and all that other bullshit. But that would gotta, be considered insane. Yeah, that's not gay. That's <laughs> incestual. <laughs> Jay Nasty, I'm going to say this for the record. Lewis Dix is not gay. He only sucked my dick one time. <laughs> <laughs> my, Damn. My point exactly. My point exactly. <laughs> oh. That's the nastiest Damn. shit I've ever heard about fucking life. I get a life. visual when he said it. Oh. That's, that's for the record. That's <laughs> the wow. Wow. No, Lewis Dixon. Because at some point man. you had to grab his beanie and go, "What's that?" <laughs> oh. To the liquor store. That was the funny shit. You want some rims? When the caller called in and said he looked like he just robbed the set, uh, oh, liquor yeah, store in the seventies and stole the James Brown poster and <laughs> the lava lamp. Yeah, that was funny. That was funny. That was Concrete, Concrete is where uh, felons take a bath, by the way. Concrete. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, concrete. I'm like, what the hell? Oh, fellas, it's, take a bath. It's concrete. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid motherfucker. Let's land the child on a hard concrete. Like, oh, fam. The real question is, oh, you got to investigate on if or when Lou Dix was touched by one of his uncles or one of his... I don't, I don't know if we should. Yeah, we don't. I, I, wasn't that, wasn't that a show on time. ABC? Okay. Touch my no, uncle. No, it's something else. It's something else. But we won't Touch go. Touch yeah. <laughs> Wasn't that on ABC? My thing is, I don't understand why was he so mad. And I think that's to me, that's what drove the show kind of weird for me. I, I recently re-listened to it as well, and I just felt like. But how many episodes have we had with Lewis where he does that? But we like he, he went off on it. Diamond Double D. He went he off on that. New York when he yeah, was there. Yeah, yeah, he went off on. He that. So but nice. if you don't let the person fully get it out there, you'll never get an understanding. So you have to listen and get the understanding. Like, so we should why? allow him to go off. Yeah, but you got to listen. You got to <laughs> listen. But, but, I mean, it was funny as hell. He had the vein in his neck, and he was like, that, 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 that. <laughs> <laughs> See, That's what I'm saying. That's where the twists always come in. He never heard. said that. I heard. Yeah, man, I'm like, so well, he, Philly. I don't know that he called him, him a faggot, but he definitely said the word faggot. He just said, he said, yo, is he gay? It was just like that. Did he try to, you know, get with me? Like, I'm like, come on, Lou. Why, okay, really? Right, Lou. Try to get <laughs> right. to my man, dude ain't met nobody here. My man took right. his Am pink. I right, Tita? Am I right? Huh? <laughs> and dude, hey, hey. dude took his pink microphone and he left. He, <laughs> he had a pink uh, microphone? <laughs> it wasn't for breast cancer. Uh, no. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this. It was shaped like a dick. still on the phone? Oh, I forgot you guys do. You guys should really introduce him to B. Scott. We did. And yeah. That, that went bad, right? too. I mean, I, <laughs> that, that, we did. We did that. That went bad, That's too. I do a real game game show. And don't get me wrong. B. Scott from behind looked like a female. And he no, turned he doesn't. around. No, no, I said speedy. from behind. He got eyes. shoulders. You look speedy. Beautiful. Uh-oh. Anyway, thank you, Jay Nash. Thank you, Jay. He turned so around. Saying, and he had the magic shave so on the face. You're saying he looked like a female from behind, so that gives you. No, I'm saying I, I didn't. I, I walked into. The, I'm just telling you what happened. I walked into. Scott don't look like a girl. And you had a I, candle in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, strong ass Pull lady. Back. Pull back the sheets. <laughs> Over here, and strong ass lady. Not to mention a five o'clock you put on shadow. Some mixed condition. And what happened, Speedy? Oh my God! I start kissing. Then what happened? Oh, strong ass lady. Can you lift this couch for me? Oh, no, when God. I walked in and I said, "Who's the girl?" Okay. And then he turned around. I was oh. like, why the girl got a five o'clock shadow? <laughs> why does the girl and have a Super Bowl ring? And I was like, oh, that's V. Scott. Gotcha. So now I feel, now I was like, that's the dude or that's the person that, <laughs> that Lewis went off on? It was like, yes. Handsome young lady. <laughs> but from the back. You know it's the dude, man. Yeah, because he has shoulders. Yeah, he does. All right, man. So I see I'm questioning the whole site, man. Don't, I don't ever know. question my, my no, man. I don't think you can really From mistake. I, even though B. Scott <laughs> is beautiful and his hair is luxurious. <laughs> luxurious. Way better I just mine. don't think you can really mistake him you for can't. a woman when you look right. at him because he no, does not, still I, have manly heart. That's features. what I said. When he when he yes. turned around, it's like, that's a dude. I know. No, that's but a dude. you said from behind. Yeah, that's I just walked in the door. Because he has long hair. No, he had speed. long, his hair was he all over the, the place. That's all I saw. So his shirt don't was tucked in. No, in the words of Louis, don't make me gay. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't say gay things. Mm. Okay, moment of silence. Don't get your ass put out this moment. <laughs> moment of <laughs> silence. Hey, look at that dude from the back, Spitty, is the gateway. It's the gateway. <laughs> <laughs> I've been staring at you all night. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you there, Deep. You'll be here another week, my brother. I'll stare at you. <laughs> and your friend, too. <laughs> <laughs> the board up. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. It's uh, Reach Around Radio. The phone lines are open, 323-965-1600. When we return, scrambled eggs and Pam. Oh, strong lady. Coming up. (laughs) Drake. (laughs) Would you like a barbell? (laughs) 